Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Hello, welcome back. Problem 2 7. The pin connected rigid rod AB and BC are inclined at theta is equal to 30 degree when they are unloaded. So you can see during unloaded this theta is equal to 30 degree. When P force is applied theta become equal to 30.2 degree. Due to this load P this theta become equal to 30 degree determine the average normal strain developed in wire C. So you have to find the average normal strain in wire AC. This is wire AC. So again uh, you can see the unstretched length of this AC unstretched unstretched length of AC is equal to if I draw perpendicular from here let me draw it if I draw a perpendicular from this point B, so you can see that this is point B. So you can see this is theta which is equal to 30 degree when this P load is not applied. So you can see this length will be equal to, this is 600 layer. So this distance A, let this point is D. So this total length AC is equal to AD plus DC clear so AD is equal to 600 sine of 30 degree plus DC is also 600 sine of 30 degree so that is equal to 2 into 600 sine of 30 degree and that is equal to 600 millimeter Clear? Because when you take sine of this 30 degree which will be equal to AB, uh, sorry AD over AB. So AD will be equal to AB sine of 30 degree. So AB is equal to 600. So it AD is equal to 600 sine of D. Similarly, DC is also 600 sine of D, which will give you the total length of AC, which is during unstretch. Clear? When P load is applied, clear? So this theta will become equal to 30.2, and this will like this will stretch. This this member will stretch like this. This will stretch like this. Now this theta this theta will be equal to 30.2 degree so stretch length due to that this AD AC will also stretch so stretched length of AC will become equal to AC dash and this will be equal to again now the theta is 30.2 so it will be equal to 2 into 600 sine of 30.2 degree clear and here from here you will get the stretch length will be equal to 603.62 millimeter clear this is the new length and this is the original length so you can see the strain in wire AC is equal to change in length divided by original length so change in length is final length minus original length divided by original length so final length is 603.62 and original length is 600 divided by original length 600 clear so when you solve this you will get average normal strain in wire AC is equal to 6.04 into 10 raised to power minus 3 millimeter per millimeter clear or you can also simply write strain in AC is equal to 6.04 into 10 raised to power minus 3 so this is the 
answer of this question. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you.